Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurdin Uzma binti Nur Salahuddin. My metric number is 3213000841. So my topic is current information about the recent flash flood in Malaysia. So in the past one or two months and until now, many catastrophic floods have occurred in the east coast of Malaysia. The most recent that can be known in the flood in Terengganu and Kelantan. As far as the information that flood victims affected in Terengganu are more than in Kelantan and the number of victims has started to decrease in the flood areas in Kelantan. This is because the phenomenon of high tides and the weather in Malaysia that there will be rain and cool weather until August this year. So the flood situation in the two states is still at an alarming level. Therefore, with the current situation that COVID-19 epidemic is still plaguing us, we are also being tested by this flood disaster. Many people come, came down to help in the mission to rescue the trade flood victims. The COVID members are also search and rescue the flood victims. Donations of necessities were also distributed to flood victims in need at temporary evacuation center. In this flood season, it is necessary to take care of yourself and your loved one. Unfortunately, it does not smell when disaster strikes. That's all for me. I pass to Ain to tell about her topic. Thank you, my friend. Hello, Assalamualaikum and greeting to all. I'm Nur Aiman Sarah. We'll continue for the next part. That is International Global Issue on the War on COVID-19 Deadly Virus. Coronavirus is a large family of virus that cause a respiratory tract infection such as serve acute respiratory syndrome that is SARS and middle as respiratory syndrome related coronavirus MERS-CoV. The latest coronavirus become a worldwide pandemic known as novel coronavirus 2019. On January 7, 2020, COVID-19 was first detected in China with confirmed confirmation in Hubei, Hubei, China. Over the next three weeks, a confirmed case in several countries such as Thailand, Singapore, French, Vietnam, Australia, Germany, and Malaysia is also some of the countries that have been infected with COVID-19. Since this country was hit uh, by the epidemic, we can see day by day an increase in case of infection is as sharp as in September uh, 2020 when Malaysia is at beginning of the third wave. According to the World Health Organization, this is WHO, novel COVID-19 coronavirus can spread from individual to an individual through droplets from the nose or mouth that are spread when a person infected COVID-19 child or sneezes. The droplets it takes to object and surface around them, other people who touch its object or surface uh, eh, at the risk getting or uh, getting COVID-19 infected when they touch their eyes, nose or mouth after touching uh, an contaminated surface or object. Uh, then more, uh, therefore, we has a uh, Animated people must abide by all the rules implemented by government to help tackle this coronavirus epidemic from spreading. Let us together tackle the COVID-19 epidemic for the common good. So I will continue. So I will pass the next part to my friend. 
Assalamu alaikum and hi my name is Nora Lena Dasha binti Om Fauzi my metric number is 3213000561 I want to share some new information about our faculty which has just a permanent counseling service for any student who want help or advice Counseling can help you become more aware about your feeling and mental health so we have just opened a counseling service to all students who want to get good advice and we will also try our best in helping students who are having any problem and who want to ask for help. This service is free for all students. The reason why you need counseling even if you think you don't need it. Firstly, counseling can help you become a better person and grow up well. Secondly, because maintaining your mental health is important. Next, some people seek counseling because they have experienced a stressful or traumatic life event, such as death of a loved one and getting abused. The benefit of counseling is it can help you see issues more towards next. It can build your self-esteem and confidence and also can help you become become more realistic in your setting goals. Service are held daily except weekly holidays. Hi madam, today I'm going to talk about the awareness campaign on depression and mental health among teenagers. Well, the topic of mental health awareness has recently has been introduced the fruit of mental illness run deep into history. Okay, mental illness also called mental disorder and it can be caused depression too. Many people with a mental illness are now fighting to increase awareness of disorder like depression and anxiety and some argue that the best way to educate about mental illness is to teach about it in the schools college and everything okay by educating about mental illness in school activities are hoping to increase understanding about their topic and prevent teenagers who have mental illness from feeling alone for sure when we okay when the teenagers they don't know how to overcome this kind of feels, this kind of things like mental illness, mental disorder. So that when we having it, when we explain it in the school, like doing a campaign and something like that, this can help the teenagers to overcome, to prevent the mental illness, mental disorder, depression, anxiety and something like that. So they also believe that children and teenagers may not handle learning about mental health the correct way. Those who argue against teaching about mental health in school argue that educators are causing wider spread confusion among the majority when we engage children in discourage about mental health. Okay. We together felt the need to initiate this moment where the people respond and what decision to make. Okay. Similarly, having an abstract awareness of mental health issues does not automatically translate to willingness or ability to do anything about them. Someone may be newly aware of what's happening when a friend is in the grip of depression. But they could also be aware that helping them is likely to be demanding, stressful, and largely underweighting. The latter would, could be what sways their behavior, compa compelling them to keep their distance rather than intervene. So this, this the things that what's the why the awareness campaign is very important among teenagers to prevent their depression and mental health so that they can overcome 
they know how to prevent and how to overcome these kinds of feel by having a mental illness depression and anxiety so that's from me thank you so much and what decision to make okay similarly having an abstract awareness of mental health issues does not automatically translate to willingness or ability to do anything about them someone may be newly aware of what's happening when a friend is in the grip of depression but they could also be aware that helping them is likely to be demanding stressful and largely unrewarding the latter would could be what sways their behavior compa- compelling them to keep their distance rather than intervene so this this the things that what's the why the, the awareness campaign is very important among teenagers to prevent their depression and mental health so that they can overcome they know how to prevent and how to overcome these kinds of feel by having a mental illness depression and anxiety so that's from me thank you so much Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Corina Bishara Binti Nosha. My number metric is 3213-005581. I will present about the, a special team building program for the new student at Kuala Selangor. Okay, in the era, a special team building for the new student at Kuala Lumpur is important to provide an understanding on, of the purpose of the team building because there are members who do not compete between teams. Uh, and is not conf- too confident to um to tell uh, to talk with other people so furthermore this group this program can give student in Kuala Selangor to be more self confident to stand out to make pre- make pre- presentation in a fr- in front of the class and also to be able to talk the co- to outsider with more confidence Team building is also a process where each each individual helps each other as a group, um, a cooperation to each each other, that uh, in an effort to share information and communication openly. This program is also for impossible sharing. Each member of the group needs to take their uh, their part correctly by doing each other tasks. that has been divided and always respond in the group to tell each other information okay in addition and additions this program can help each other individual to add uh, of knowledge to share information that they know each other they are able to help their friends who do not understand and uh, and share more information with them This program needs to be further expanded in Kuala Selangor so that each individual that can in can develop their knowledge more comprehensively. That's for all for me. Thank you.